What's up everyone, in today's video we've got another tactics test, alright, three at the back, three at the front tactic by Vujevic, it's called the Atacanti. Right then, welcome back then guys, so before we begin make sure to subscribe, thumbs up on the video obviously to help us grow, and uh, comment as well if you've used this tactic or similar tactic, or if you've got any other tactics that you might want to send me for testing and maybe content in the future, but... Here we are looking at the Atacanti right now by Vujevic. You must have heard of him. He's done quite a few tactics. It is about, it is about everywhere. All right. Um, three at the back, three at the front. All right, very popular. I, I, I have a three at the back, three at the front tactic. To be fair, it's uh, working really good in my streams, which you can watch on Twitch. All right, the link is in the description below and whatever's flying below me at the minute. But, um, yeah. Hopefully this tactic goes pretty well. The teams taking part in the test, Man U, West Ham, PSG, Brest, Inter, Verona, Nottingham Forest, Wimbledon, and Hartlepool as well. If you can download it, guys, there's a link in the description that will send you to FM Scout where you can download it from there. Or you can go to the Discord where you can also download it. Uh, like I said, all the links are in the description. Um, but if you can't, don't worry, because the instructions for the tactics are pressing forward left, pressing forward right, deep line forward, wing back left, wing back right, Volante left and Volante right, ball playing defender left, ball playing defender right, and central defender with the goalkeeper. Set piece instructions, corners, defending right and left, and attacking left and right, and the taker is aiming for the near post, guys. Free kicks, defending right and left, and attacking left and right, and then finally throwing instructions, defending right and left, and attacking left and right and then overview of the tactic again it's an attacking mentality guys all right in possession fairly narrow on the attacking width overlapping left and right play out defense standard pass and directness with a high tempo mixed crosses in the final third with work ball into box in transition counter press and counter and your goalkeepers distributing it to your center backs and then out of possession you are using the offside trap a much higher line of engagement with a standard defensive line standard defensive width with much more often on the trigger press with prevent short goalkeeper distribution so yes hopefully it goes excellent on all the teams involved thumbs up um, and let's get to it shall we Right then, welcome back guys. So let's get started in the Premier League as usual. Uh, it's unfortunate, but Man U just missed out on the top spot right there, finishing with 82 points, whereas Liverpool came first with 85 points. So that was just one game in it, guys. One game in it for Man U and they could have won the league. West Ham, on the other hand, though, did really well, coming fifth, uh, 69 points. And again, they just missed out on fourth place, which surprisingly was Leeds. All right, so Leeds are actually a pretty decent team. I actually enjoy testing with Leeds. They do fairly well. Uh, but overall, good. All right, obviously both teams finished above expectations. West Ham are predicted to finish ninth. They came fifth. Man U are predicted fourth, and they came second. All right, so a nice one there. If we go over to the player stats, uh, Ronaldo unfortunately finishing with 19 goals. I would have expected more, but... You, you get them every now and again in the tactics test, all right? Average ratings, though, is uh, Manchester United came first there with Telles getting 7.83. Luke Shaw, uh, 7.78. And Creswell getting 7.72. So it looks like those wingbacks are getting really, really good stats. Uh, assists, you got Creswell and Shaw getting 19 and 17. Player of the matches, Creswell and Telles again. So it just shows you there that those wingbacks are very, very important, guys. Um, clean sheets, David De Gea coming second with 16. So Manu competitions first and did they win anything just the Carabao Cup all right in the final they played Leeds and won 2-0 uh, so nice one there it's a shame that they didn't win the league but at least they still got a little bit of silverware if we go straight to the squad uh, we'll have a look at the full stats over all competitions uh, best player was uh, Talas getting 22 assists seven uh, goals and then Luke Shaw here getting 29 and 8 now Talas where did he actually play Tactics. He played as a wing back left 43 games, whereas Luke Shaw, development, tactics, played as a wing back left in 27 and a, and a defender centre in 23. So it looks like obviously Shaw and Telles both shared that wing back left role, uh, where Shaw did play on the ball playing defender a little bit as well, but they both excelled as the wing back left right that's where they picked up most of their assists and 29 assists for luke shaw absolute insane all right very very good biggest goal scorers cavani ronaldo and rashford obviously playing as the main front three 28 28 and 22 for them biggest creators 
obviously Shaw and Teles getting that many. And even Aaron Wambasaka is, even though he's a more defensive option as a wing back, all right, rather than a supply, he still manages to pick up 18 assists. So he played really, really well. Uh, if we go to the full numbers for Manu, it was 163 goals, 60 conceded. A little bit high on the goals, um, but there were in quite a lot of competitions. But 163 for a three striker formation, it could be higher. All right, it could be higher. Um, but again, it's a tactics test. All right, it's one go, one run, and uh, then we have a look at it. If you have a go, if you use this tactic in game where you can make changes, where you can play certain players in certain roles, you might get a lot more guys. Uh, so yeah, not bad overall. All right, data hub. If you go on the general performance, it did still do well in all areas. All right, goals, expected goals, conceded. You're only conceding just above one per game on averages. Getting a lot of shots off as well, guys. So yeah, not too bad for Manu. I'm happy with that. If we go to West Ham, they were the ones that finished in a decent position. All right, they were predicted about Minish table. And they got some European football. And they were in Europe as well for this test. So uh, let's have a look where they actually finished in Europe. They were runners up. <laughs> so that's pretty decent, actually, for West Ham. Unfortunately, they lost out to Atalanta uh, in the final 2-0. That's such a shame. But look at average rate. Look at Creswell, 8.22 in that competition with 13 assists. He was awesome. Awesome. All right, so yeah, it's a shame that they didn't win that. But uh, yeah, great season overall for West Ham. Uh, go to the squad then. Best player was Creswell getting 32 assists in all competitions. Tell you what, guys, this, this these wing-backs on these tactics are vital and very, very good. Uh, biggest goal scorers, uh, you obviously get Suchek and Bowen, uh, 13, 12, and then uh, Yarmolenko there with 10. So yeah, overall, not as much as Manu, but still fairly decent. Uh, you would probably want a few more goals. To be fair for for West Ham for these players, um, but yeah, can't can't win on all, can't win on them all, can we? Can't win on them all. Uh, but let's go to the four numbers for West. Ham. So it's still ninety five, not bad for a midish table team. Seventy five goals conceded, which is which is quite a lot. If we go to the tactic club, all right, general performance again, it's a little bit lower, but you are doing well in areas where it comes to shots and goals and pass completion isn't that bad either. If we have actually have a look at the last match passes. All right, so just to get a little feel of how your team shapes up in games, that is excellent. All right, I think that looks really, really good. You can clearly see where everyone is playing. All right, the three defenders. You've got the wing backs here in, in offensive positions. The three uh, strikers with the deep line forward actually sitting deep, uh, and the two attacking volantes. So yeah, I think that looks absolutely superb. To be fair, nice one. Right, so overall, not too bad for both these teams. If we go to PSG and Brest in France, how do they do? Even better. All right, PSG always going to come first, but we use PSG so we can see some numbers, guys, some big numbers for elite teams. Brest, on the other hand, are underdogs, and they came second. And not only did they come second, if we go over to the player stats, it was Mooney for Brest who actually scored the most goals. 27 came first. Icardi uh, getting 24 for PSG coming third. Average ratings is Brest players again. All right, they're there. First and second, Neymar coming third. Assists, Brest again. All right, and I'm guessing this Aronan is a left back. It is. It's the left back. It's the left back. Something about the left back, guys, is vital and so important. And you can see it in the uh, stats, player stats here, and the player stats in... Um in the Premier League as well with Shaw. All right, that left-back role is very important. Um, player of the matches, again, he is there. Uh, Aronan there with nine coming second. And clean sheets, Don Aroma got 16. So PSG's competitions, what did they win? They won the French Cup, runs up the trophies to the Champions and got knocked out in the first round by Manu in the Champions League. So yeah, it's a shame, but they still ended up with the double. Um, if you go to the data hub for PSG then, let's have a look at this general performance normally. You're smashing it, all right? In just under th uh, four goals per game. Uh, conceding is pretty decent as well. Half a goal per game. A lot of shots. Great pass completion. Great expect expect expected goals. Expected? Expected. <laughs> if we go to the squad, full numbers for PSG was 188 goals, 37 conceded, guys. And uh, Brest, well, we've looked at Brest. We've looked at their players. They've done absolutely insane. And to come second is fantastic. Their competition's quarterfinals got knocked out by Lyon in the French Cup. That's a shame. Go straight to their squad then. So, again, Mooney, really well looked. 32 goals. Cardona getting 20. Biggest assists was that left back. 
All right, Uronen uh, getting 22. So, yeah, overall, it's just highlighting how important these wing-backs are um, in this tactic at the end of the day. If we go back to the Premier League, all right, let's go to the actual Premier League stats so we can compare the teams to the rest of the league. So, team overview, when it comes to goals, Man U come first, West Ham come fifth. Uh, best pass completion, Man U's just squeaked in there, eighth place. Most possession, you've got Man U coming fifth, West Ham coming seventh. All right, so normally with tactics testing, with attacking tactics, um, you don't see them in the possession and pa in the best pass completion sections. Because you normally lose that because you go in attacking, so you lose now on the ball, lose now on possession, favouring the riskiness, basically. So it's nice to actually see him still in there. Fewest conceded, uh, Manu there, fourth, getting 42. Uh, we'll go back to France now and have a look at their uh, team overview stats. So most goals is obviously PSG and Brest coming second. PSG scored 142 in the league. Uh, best pass completion, PSG and Brest both there, 6th and 7th, best possession, PSG coming 2nd with 56%, Brest coming 5th, and viewers conceded, so PSG only conceded 20 league goals, whereas Brest comes 6th there with 52, so overall, absolutely fan dabby do uh, for the French teams, Inter and Verona, alright, we're going to Italy now, and Inter came first, which they should do, alright, they, they're a really good team, and with a good tactic, they should come first, uh, Verona on the other hand are underdogs, and they came 5th, absolutely fan Fantastic. And a quick uh, look as well. Inter did end up winning the Champions League, the Italian Cup, and the Italian Super Cup. So Italy, um, Inter, sorry, got the whole board. All right, got everything that you could get in the first season. So they did absolutely fantastic. So nice one. Um, again, let's have a look. So uh, Lazari, DeMarco. Yeah, DeMarco would have been used as that left back role if we have a look on the tactics. Wing back left. Yeah, so again. It's the wing-back left that are doing exceptionally well with this tactic. If you have an even better or just as good right-back, no doubt you're going to get so many goals because they'll be supplying so many. All right, you can see it in the stats. You can see it with the English teams, with the French teams, and now with the Italian teams as well. Uh, go down to the lower leagues of England. Nottingham Forest came first on really, really well. Uh, James Garner getting 19 assists, but he played as a midfielder. He would have played as a uh, Volante, so not... Not quite uh, dependent on the left backs there, Forrest. And then uh, Wimbledon also came second, got promotion. McCormack for Wimbledon. Where's he playing? Also a midfielder. And then Hartlepool also came first. All right, fantastic. Did really, really well getting promotion. So, uh, yeah, with the lower leagues, it wasn't so much with the wing backs. Uh, all right, but with the high teams, with the top teams uh, or the top or top division teams, um, yeah, wing backs are very crucial. So, According to this test, obviously, in reality, the whole team's crucial at the end of the day. But you can see the uh, stats overall really relied on those wing backs left and maybe rights as well uh, when it comes to the top league team. So overall, not bad at all for the Atacanti tactic. All right, so yeah, get yourself an awesome wing back, guys, and no doubt he is going to supply a lot of goals for you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you do use this tactic, and it is absolutely fantastic for you as well. And uh, yeah, as I said, you can find it at FM Scat and also on my Discord. So I'm Tucker Jobs. Thank you for watching this tactics test, and I'll see you in the future. See you later. Bye.